welcome to a day in my life. I am very tired. Um, it's a Monday. I'm going to work. My hair looks awful because, I, whoa, as gross as it may sound, I haven't washed it in like two days. But that's because, guys, what is going on? Can we just go faster? But that is because, what's because what? I don't remember what I'm saying. Okay, I'm really not a morning person. Um, and it's like not even that early. Like it is almost 10 o'clock. Oh, me not washing my hair. I haven't washed my hair because I'm doing this workout program called Insanity. And like you work at six days a week. Rest days are Sundays. So if I do the workout early-ish in the morning on Saturdays, then I can go all of Saturday without washing my hair, all of Sunday, and then even into Monday, crazy I know, even into Monday until I do the workout and then my hair gets really sweaty and then I have to wash it because it's just almost unsanitary at that point. However, Tuesdays I don't work. So, I know it's gross, but bear with me. So if I don't wash my hair tonight, because tomorrow I don't work, I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow. Who's gonna see me? Yes, it's my personal hygiene, but I don't have to wash my hair, you know what I mean? I can just wash it Tuesday. Anywho, now that you know the grossness of it, um, my, my hair was down. It was making me anxious. It doesn't even look that bad down, but like I just, mm -mm. so I um, put it up in a month. I'm on my way to work right now. I knew it was gonna fall. Did you see my face before it fell? Replay that back. I'm on my way to work right now. I work from like 10 to three and then I go home. So, I don't really want to vlog while I'm at work, but maybe, who knows, you never know. There is so much of my well-being that wants to be a morning person. I feel like in the morning people are just more productive, you get more done, you feel like better about yourself because you don't like wake up late and feel like you got a late start to the day. Okay. But it is so hard. Like, I have literally gone to sleep at like 11 o'clock before and woken up at 11 the next day. 11 o'clock is early. I know for some people that's late and like for people that wake up at like 6 a.m. they go to bed at like 9. But I'm just saying like my body feels like it constantly needs like 12 hours of sleep and I don't know why that is. Maybe somebody out there can explain. Don't get me wrong. There have been times where I've woken up early in the morning and it's been hard at first, but then I feel like good about my day. And I'm like, wow, that was a really productive day. Like I just did so much in the early hours and feel like I've completed so much. But it's one of those things where it's like, it's not, oh my God, what is happening? But for me, it's just, it's not, it's not sustainable. Like I, like I can't, did I just spit? I did. I can't do it every day. I can't. And it honestly pains me to think that like one day I will have to probably be in like the real work world where this sounds <laughs> so bad, <laughs> but like where I have to get up at whatever hour to get to work by nine and then be at work from like nine to five and then go home and like cook dinner or like whatever. But like, at what point am I gonna work out? I'm not gonna wake up in the morning and work out. I have to be up at like 6 a.m. But maybe I will be, I don't know. But like, I've, I've been trying to wake up early and like having work is something that like helps me get up a little bit earlier than I would. But still, I wake up like 10 minutes before I have to leave. I managed to get everything done, but still it's not like, I, I don't know. I just wake up like 10 minutes before I have to leave and then I, I go. But, oh well, you get the gist of it. I will see you when I see you. Okay, goodbye. See you later. See you in a sec. Adios, amigo.
goes. Hi everybody. I'm walking to Duncan right now and I'm like on the side of the road. And it's very awkward because there are so many people that can just watch me and see me and I'm talking to my phone. It's fine. I suppose. I'm going to take a coffee break. There's a Duncan that's like not far away at all. So I'm going to grab that because it's not like I'm hungry, but like I could go for a flavor. Work has been good so far. Fun, exciting news. I just got approved for a credit card. I sound so old saying that. Not actually, but it's kind of exciting. Big girl purchases here. It's not even a that was loud. It's not even a purchase, it's just like a big girl decision. Um, anyways, I'm babbling. I need to cross the street and I just missed the crosswalk, but now it's awkward because I don't want cars to wait for me and like stop in the middle of the street. Does anybody else have that problem? Like, I know that's the point of crosswalks, but it's like really embarrassing when you like go to a crosswalk and then like people have to stop for you and just watch you walk across the road. Like, do I go? Oh my god, I'm gonna run. I'm literally gonna run across the street. Okay. I look so stupid. I'm getting my coffee now. Alright, so like, I got a macchiato. Like, that's what I ordered. But it just looks so light. Like, it's fine. First world problems here. It just looks really light. I don't know. Kind of tastes milky, too, so... Probably gonna get bad stomach pains in like 15, 20 minutes. It's still fine. Still gonna drink it. Still amazing tasting. Just a little milky. It's fine. I have to get back to work. This was fun. Glad we shared this experience with each other. Um, talk to you soon. It is extremely hot. Anyways, I'm on my way home now. I didn't really eat a lunch. Like, I wasn't in the mood for it. And, like, plus I forgot fries that I have at home that were, like, leftovers. So I want the fries. Anywho, I'm on my way home now. I'll probably eat when I'm home. Then let it digest a little bit. Then work out. But I'll keep you updated. But I will see you when all that happens. Peace. Lunch time. I have leftover burrito, leftover fries, and a bucket of fruit. I'm not eating the whole thing, just picking at it. crooked but it's what we're working with um i'm horrible at this in case you didn't know i can't vlog for my life although i'm trying my best i worked out as you saw i had dinner i had some dessert and now i am getting ready for bed okay well not really getting ready for bed it's only nine o'clock which I know, like I said earlier, is on people's bedtime, but not mine. What do I do to get ready for bed? I use Curology. I use Curology. Not sponsored, but please do. I have actually gotten so many people hooked on Curology. It's not like my skin was bad before, but I, I just had like some bumps everywhere. And I was just unhappy with it. It wasn't like it was bad. It was just like regular teenage hormonal acne and i use just ultra repair cream by first aid beauty on top of that and that's it that is all i do for my face and then just 
chapstick. I love this chapstick. It is candy cane. Um, I think they only sell it around Christmas time and I get a huge pack of them. I get a pack of like 10 and I kind of keep them everywhere. I keep like one in my car. I keep one in my bedside table. I keep a couple in this like makeup vanity thing right here in my purse, in my backpack. I keep one everywhere and they usually last me the whole year, even longer. I didn't wash my hair. You'll see it's up right now. I didn't wash it. Cause like it really bothers me when I'm working out and like my obviously my back is sweaty and my hair is super long so my hair starts to like touch my back and it feels like it's like gross I know gross but it feels like my hair is like wiping the sweat off my back and then my hair is wet and it just gets me very grossed out so what I've been doing is putting my hair in a low pony like this wrapping it around like you would to like put your hair up in a big clip and then hook it like, listen, it's not, it doesn't look, well, it looks fine, but like, it gets it out of the way. It stays like that when I work out. So it's perfect. It's fine. I like it. Anyways, that is a day in my life. I don't know what else I'm going to do tonight. Honestly, probably just like sit on my phone, maybe read before I go to bed and that's it. But tomorrow I teach dance. So I don't do the work I did today, do a different type of work. And I kind of have the morning free so I can do whatever I want. So, yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. It's been a while. And I missed, yeah. But I will see you soon. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.